guys. I know you see by the title. Um, can we just talk about something real quick? <laughs> um, I got a Litman, guys, for Christmas. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, so, oh, hi. If you don't know me, I'm Sarah. I am a senior. I'm a pre-nursing student and a CNA student, um, and I am documenting my nursing journey here on YouTube. And if you didn't know, I already have a stethoscope. It is an MDF lightweight acoustica. She's real cute. She's real lightweight as the name suggests. Um, and yeah, this is the one I have been using so far in my CNA program because we have been, we're starting, um, to do like vital signs and stuff. And it was so nice to have a stethoscope and I feel like it's been doing its job. I don't think it's a horrible stethoscope. And at the same time, I haven't had anything to compare it to. Um, but I'm gonna stop chatting. We're gonna get into the unboxing. Okay, so sorry if this is an awkward angle. It's just the best that I could figure out how to do. So I hope that this is, I'm pretty sure that this is center. I'm just gonna open her up. Oh, by the way, I have the um, raspberry tube with the rainbow finish and this is the classic three of course I'm not doing like the cardiology four or anything like that I'm just didn't even get into nursing school yet I <laughs> this is just a gift honestly I thought the box would come with some sort of like a shrink wrap oh this is what the box looks like it basically just describes the contents of the box and then the features of the stethoscope so it is a Lippmann classic three stethoscope it is a monitoring stethoscope with high acoustic sensitivity. It has a dual single piece turnable diaphragms, which are pressure sensitive. It is a versatile adult and pediatric two-sided, or it has a versatile adult and pediatric two-sided chest piece. The pediatric side converts to an open bell. Included in the box is a Lippmann snap tight, soft ceiling ear tips, large and small, and a non-chill bell sleeve. And it has a five-year warranty. On the sides, pretty much the same thing. I'll read it this way, sorry. <laughs> pretty much the same thing. Uh, monitoring stethoscope with high acoustic sensitivity. Dual single piece turnable diaphragms, pressure sensitive. Versatile adult and pediatric two-sided chest piece. And then snap tight, soft ceiling ear tips. And then on this side, it just says like, you know, the fixings and the finishes of the stethoscope. And then on this side, it just says five-year warranty. Pediatric side, it's an open bell. And this is the front of the box it doesn't come with like a shrink wrap or anything oh this is the other side if you wanted to see this is what it looks like <laughs> it doesn't come with the shrink wrap i thought it would but it doesn't um okay so we're just gonna open it <laughs> right here we go oh my gosh are you ready oh my gosh i'm not ready <gasps> oh she's beautiful okay so when you open the box um i'm just gonna ignore the stethoscope for a second it comes with um, an extra, like, extra ear tips. I'm assuming these are the small ones, maybe? I don't know. Um, some ear tips, and then I'm assuming, like, an extra tube thingy. I don't know what it's called, but I'm assuming it's for this, for the, the bell part. Okay, and then <laughs> we have the booklet here. This is what the booklet looks like. And then you open it. Descriptions of symbols. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get anything substantial here. So we have the English. So it, it kind of just shows you how to adjust your stethoscope. And it actually, it's funny, it shows you how to put it in. Because I feel like a lot of people put it in wrong at first. But you put it in like the stethoscope like pointing like this in your ears not like that <laughs> um it's pretty much showing you to adjust it i'm not sure oh this is this shows that the diaphragms are pressure sensitive how to convert the pediatric side to an open bell and then how to adjust your ear pieces and then on this side just intended use instructions for use cleaning disinfection and storage and that I think is it for the English. I think so. Could be wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. All right. 
So now onto the star of the show. Um, I did choose the raspberry color. Um, my boyfriend's known that I've wanted this for a while. I didn't get it engraved because my last name might be changing soon. My title will also be changing. Um, so I didn't really want to get it engraved yet. Um, so I'm not sure what my title is going to be, what my last name is going to be, that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Wow, this is so pretty. Like, I, I didn't... I don't really know what to compare the color to. I guess it's less of a hot pink and more of a like magenta kind of like if you took the color of blood and made it pink that's what this color is and the um, top part here is gold the bottom is gold and then it kind of goes into like a raspberry type finish I didn't realize that it was like more gold tinted that is perfectly fine I'm just like realizing this now um, yeah, so this is what it looks like, and then I'm going to put it on and then do a little mini comparison with the stethoscope that I have. Okay, so you're supposed to, like, go like this. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to go like this, because it feels, like, a little, like, tight, kind of? I'm not sure. Okay, so we're going to put it in. The earpieces go, like, right into my ear. Okay. It's on the big adult diaphragm side. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure I have it in the wrong spot. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I got it. I think. Pretty sure. All right. Um... Yeah, this is what it looks like. The This part is just my favorite part. Like, it's so, it's so pretty. I definitely wanted a pinkish color to look as not professional as possible to minimize the chance of it getting stolen. <laughs> so, like, that was my logic with picking this color. I also do like pink. Um, however, if I were to choose a stethoscope color that, like, is my favorite color, it would look something like this. Um, this is, like, a bubblegum pink, but... Okay, let's put this in and see. Oh, these ear the earpieces are a lot smaller and they definitely just go in my ear. I don't know if they're it's a, as comfortable. Oh. Holy moly. There's like no way. There's no way. I literally could hear just like so much better. Like the sounds were just just flat out just like louder. That's wait, let me try it again. There's no way. And it's definitely pressure sensitive because when I put it in the right spot, like I could f feel it. Like if you when you push down, you can feel feel the pressure in your ears, which is like a really weird. I don't have it in the right spot, like at all, but like the sounds themselves are just so much louder on the Lippman. Like it's crazy. Like it's literally insane. Like, everything is just loud on the limit. I'm not sure if that is necessarily just better sound quality, but it's definitely really interesting just, like, bouncing back and forth between the two stethoscopes and, like, that's really strange. And I, I wasn't taught how to use this. I'm just, like, moving it around slightly to, like, find the right spot. But, like, that's wild. Um, so... Oh, I'm going to put it around my neck to be cool, you know. Um, this is what it looks like around my neck. And I definitely do notice it does feel heavier when you put it around your neck compared to the MDF one. Because even like in the box, I was like, there's no way there's a stethoscope in here. 
Like it's just, it feels like nothing. Putting it on, it's so pretty. This is like what it looks like. It is gorgeous. Like I'm gonna do that thing. Like it is so pretty. And the tubing is just, it's just so, I didn't, it feels almost stretchy. I don't wanna stretch it obviously, but like, this, actually this feels a little bit stretchy too. This feel, it feels more like squishy than I pictured it to be. Like I was like, envisioned it to feel like stiff and it's not stiff at all it is very it's very not I don't know if you guys have ever had bendy straws as kids that's what this feels like this literally is like it feels like a toy it's not a toy but it's so stretchy and flexible and I don't know how to describe it like even just I don't want to like you know do it too much but it you can like press on it in your fingers. Um, the actual like, this part itself is a little stiff, just a little bit. If you, you know, stretch it out, it'll loosen up, but the chest piece is like the heaviest part of this, but most of the other parts are pretty light. It's just the chest piece that's a little heavy. Um, that's probably where the weight comes from because on this, it's like nothing. So um, I hope you liked my unboxing and first impressions. When I learn how to use the stethoscope properly, I will make a proper comparison video between the MDF and this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. First impression though, is that I hear like so much, everything's just like louder, not necessarily clearer because I'm probably not putting it in, in the right spot, but things are just like, louder and it's very it was like very jarring <laughs> at first I was like whoa um so yeah that was my little unboxing hope you enjoyed um if you want to see my face again consider subscribing <laughs> <laughs> I post videos like this occasionally like unboxings reviews hauls stuff like that if you want to see more of these videos you should comment so I know to make more of them um if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.